Would you eat this Subway sandwich? It may or may not be a sweet onion chicken teriyaki. The mystery resides in the meat. It looks like chicken, but is it actually chicken? Last week, a Canadian TV show called Marketplace paid a scientist to check the DNA of the meat. After testing several batches, the chicken came out to only be about 50% actual chicken. What was the rest of the so-called meat? Soy. Subway immediately issued a press release stating, The allegations that our chicken is only 50% chicken is 100% wrong. Subway has since paid to have their own independent testing done in Canada and in the United States. And Subway representatives say that those tests have concluded the chicken to be 99% chicken, with the rest being flavoring and preservatives. That's not enough for a lonely college student, Jessica Esquivel, who questions this new testing. Even if they test it like multiple times and you know the next time they'll say, oh, you know, it's 99%, whatever, I still feel like that one test that comes out as 50%, it's going to ruin like everything. She has no plans to eat at Subway anytime soon. Other students aren't bothered by the idea that Subway chicken could be 50% soy. A lot of other restaurants include soy, so I, I don't think it'll stop me from, from going to Subway. Regardless of Subway's own test results, Marketplace is still standing by their claims that Subway chicken is really only 50% chicken, and Subway's now facing a class action lawsuit led by one angry Connecticut customer. I'm Rob Adamick for Ohlone Network News.